So welcome to Technodad Life, and on today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to use Docker on Raspberry Pi, and how we're going to do that is we're going to install a basic monitoring program to do that called Raspberry Pi Monitor, and here we go now. <laughs> So the first thing you need to know when we're talking about the Raspberry Pi is that it's the difference between ARM, which is the chipset on the Raspberry Pi, and x86, which is on pretty much every PC out there. So software that runs on ARM architecture does not run on x86, and x86 does not run on ARM X. So when we look for Dockers for the Raspberry Pi, we have to see find ones that either say ARM or they have RPI in their name, so ARM or RPI. All other Dockers are based on x86 and we do not want those. So now what I'll do is I will install a Docker on a Raspberry Pi to show you how you do it. Okay, so to install Docker, first thing you have to do is log into your Raspberry Pi. And so here you can see we have a Raspberry Pi. And you can he see here, there's that ARM processor I was talking about. And that's what we're going to be looking for in all our Dockers. When I switch over to my other server, you can see this one has an Intel processor. So if you have one that says it has an Intel processor, you do not want to follow this tutorial for it. This is only for Raspberry Pis. Okay, now, so the first thing you want to do is scroll down, go to Docker, and click on Docker. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in this box. Uh, basically, there's two different ways you can find uh, software for the Raspberry Pi. First one is to type in RPI space. And now you can see a whole list of different Raspberry Pi usable images show up. The other way is ARM space. And then again, you can see you have a different list of things, but they're, both of those are for the Raspberry Pi uh, ARM architecture. So what we're going to do is we're going to now find a uh, Raspberry Pi Docker. So we're going to type in one called Raspberry Pi Monitor. We're going to click on that, click Start. Once that's done loading, you can click Close. And now you can see there it is in our Docker images. So next you can click on Info. And so that will bring down the info page for that. And so we're gonna reference some things on here. So we're gonna leave that open. And so next, make sure that's highlighted still, click Run Image. And so we're gonna call this RPI monitor restart policy always network mode host adapter so basically we're gonna it's always gonna restart when we start our computer it's going to use our host adapters uh, to in this case monitor them next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to container paths hit a slash there and so for our host path what we're gonna do is we actually have to create a folder so we're going to click on our Windows uh, network and click on our Raspberry Pi. And so we've already created three folders from our previous tutorial. We're going to click on App Data, make a new folder. This one we're going to call Monitor. And then we're going to go down like that. So next we're going to click on Host Path, Shared Folders, App Data, Monitor, OK then click plus and so next we're going to add in a few different things so monitor is going to monitor various processes and so we need it to give it paths for those so we're going to do those right now so first is the opt path and we're going to click plus next is boot click plus Next is to our system folder, and we want to create that to read only, so we're going to click right there. Click plus again. 
Next, we're going to add in our etc folder. And again, we're going to click read only and plus. And next, we're going to do our processor. Click read only and plus. And now our lib folder. And again, that is read only. And we're going to click plus. So once we have all those things in there, then the next thing we're going to do is click save. And now you can see our image has started and it's running and it's been up for not very long time. It was only created two seconds ago, so not much there yet. So we're just going to wait a few seconds and then we will go to that container. So how we do that, we go back to our info page. You can see down here, we type our IP address plus colon 8888. So let's do that. So let's copy our IP address. Then we're going to put in colon 8888. Hit enter. And now you can see that our Raspberry Pi, we have lots of information about it now. So let's take a look at all these different things. So first it tells us about our processor, our distribution here. It doesn't recognize Open Media Vault, which is on Debian, but it does tell us our kernel firmware and there's no upgrades. So our uptime. So basically uh, this Raspberry Pi has only been up 12 minutes. That's because I had to uh, unplug it to do the video of showing a Raspberry Pi because I just have one. And here you can see our CPU frequency, uh, what our scaling's at, the loads. Then here it shows our CPU temperature, which is pretty low right now. How much memory we're using, how much swap we're using, how much storage is left on our SD card. And currently the network settings uh, don't work in Raspberry Pi Monitor uh, due to the update in Debian. So. Uh, that's set to be updated, but until then, you'll just sort of get nothing here. So this was a mini tutorial of how to set up a Docker. And basically, this will enable you to get some basic information about your Raspberry Pi uh, while you're running Open Media Vault. And if you like this, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll be doing more of these Raspberry Pi tutorials over the next week. I'm going to try, or next weeks, I should say. I'm going to try to be putting out at least one Raspberry Pi video per week on Dockers and other things. And Take care. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Until then, we'll see you next time.